Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we're on the topic of the physics of tennis this week. And today specifically, uh, we're talking about leverage. And leverage by definition is the exertion of force by means of an object. And in this case, our object is our tennis racket. Okay, so for all you, you know, athletes out there that aren't just playing tennis, I think you recognize that you guys cannot throw a ball as hard or as far as you can hit it with a racket. And that's, you know, really the idea behind leverage. And the way I want to tie it into our, to our, you know, tennis game is a couple points here. One, I think a lot of you out there believe that the sweet spot of the racket is right in the middle of the racket, which is actually false. The sweet spot of the racket is up a little bit higher because being just that much farther up, a couple inches, means I've got more leverage, I've got more length, okay? Uh, Michael Chang, for all of you guys and girls out there that know the great player Michael Chang, he got to number two in the world, uh, made it to a couple Grand Slam finals, he won the French Open, but got to a point in his career where he felt like he was getting overpowered. So he actually had Prince build him a racket that was an extra inch longer than a standard tennis racket. And the thought behind that is that with a longer racket, he has more leverage and therefore he was going to create more power. Um, that kind of ties into a mistake I see club level players making a lot when they get a little bit tight. The hand sometimes starts to find its way up the grip and the contact point of the ball in the racket is lower than the center of the racket. And we're talking about the sweet spot being higher, this being decent, this is, this is super low, and therefore I'm not getting a lot of leverage. So for you players that feel like you're being, you know, safe in that zone where you're keeping yourself jammed up, you're creating zero leverage for the most part. So let's go ahead and take a look at a couple swings here. And you guys, obviously, because I'm tall, my, my leverage is kind of magnified because of the length of my arms, okay? And I love that feeling that I get really stretched out on contact because it really does give me that feeling of more force into the shot, okay? You know, again, I, I would never want to change that feeling and go to something that was a little more jammed up. Now, that takes us to the volleys. I think it's this, this kind of uh, interesting relationship between the ground strokes and the volleys for club level players. A lot of club level players at the baseline don't create a lot of leverage because they feel like that's not the best way to make shots. And yet club level players will get up to the net where having less leverage is actually a good thing because it's gonna provide you guys control and the ability to place your volleys. And yet at the club level, I see a lot of like big gigantic swings and the hand is halfway off the grip at the bottom and the reach is you know, really accentuated. And what I would prefer for you guys to do is try to create more leverage at the baseline. And then as you get up to the net, I'm, I'm actually okay with you guys sliding your hand up the grip a little bit, creating less length in the racket, and therefore, you know, providing this feeling that you guys, without as much reach and without as much leverage, are gonna get to the net and, and play a brand of tennis where you're trying to win the rallies at the net with more placement than with power, okay? So, that's my uh, physics lesson for the day. I do not have my PhD, but I think you guys will find that super helpful to understand uh, that feeling of leverage and, and really allow it to help you back at the baseline, on the serves, on the overheads, and then kind of, you know, minimize your leverage more once you're up into that volley zone, okay? So that's all I got for you guys today. Hope that was super helpful. Please click like below this video. And if you happen to be watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks and we'll see you soon.